Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to do some glossy metallic logo animation in After Effects. First step, click on new composition. I'm going to rename it as 3D text. I'm going to go with uh, 1080p, 1920 by 1080. And we're going to jump in here to the 3D render and make sure to change from classic 3D to cinema 4D. Click OK. I'm going to drag and drop my logo in Adobe Illustrator format. I'm going to make the import kind with composition and footage dimension layer size. Click OK. I'm going to go into the folder, drag and drop the AI file into the 3D text comp, right click, create, create shape from vector layer. I'm going to delete the original AI file. I'm going to rename this as logo. Press the letter S and scale it up. I'm going to recolor the fill. I'm going to click here on the toggle swatch so it's going to appear the 3D layer. I'm going to activate it and I'm going to go to the geometric options. And we got the extrusion depth. This is going to make it 3D. I'm going to add like 42. I also want to check the extrusion thickness. I'm going to go to the active camera. I'm going to go to the left. And as you can see, the extrusion is really thick. So I'm going to go from 42 to 20. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to go back to active camera. You also can add bevel style if you want. Angular, concave. I'm going to go with angular. I'm going to decrease it 0.5. Right click and go to new, select camera. Let's go with 35 millimeter lens. Click OK. Right click again, go to new, select light. You can go with parallel light and click OK. Go to the action camera, click on top, select the parallel light layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate and I'm going to select it and position it somewhere here on the right. Make it point towards the text, select both lights, press Ctrl D and I'm going to position these upwards, point the lights towards the back part of the text. Go to top, active camera, and now you can see the 3D extrusion as well. Click on the camera and you also can select the orbit around cursor and you just can move the text around so you can see how it's gonna look. So for the next step, we're gonna need an image for reflection and lights. So normally we should need like an HDRI file, but that's not available right now. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description with this image and we're gonna modify this into Photoshop real quick. Let's go to adjustment layers, go to curves, decrease to make it dark and I'm going to add more contrast, something like this. I'm also going to go to the adjustments again and select black and white. Great. Save it. This is going to be the test 3. Drag the image into After Effects, create a new comp, rename it HDRI, even if it's not, click OK. Drag the test image in, press the letter S, scale it down, type into effects and presets, motion, tile drag and drop on the image. We're going to increase the output width to 500 and the output height to 500 again. Select the image layer, press the letter P for position. I'm going to drag the image to the right, also press shift and I'm going to position it somewhere here where the start is. I'm going to click on the stopwatch on the position. I'm going to drag it out all the way to the end. And I'm going to select the image, press and hold shift and also drag it all the way to the left side. So it's going to create an animation that is going to look something like this. Let's go back to the 3D text comp. I'm going to collapse the logo. I'm going to go back to the project here and select the HDRI and drag and drop under the logo. Right click on the HDRI and click on environment layer. Now we're gonna go back to the logo and we got here the material options. I'm gonna collapse the transform and geometrical options and open up the material options. And we're gonna increase the reflection intensity all the way up to 100. Now you can see a lot of reflections into the extrusion. And now also we're gonna increase the specular shininess from 5%. I'm gonna go with somewhere around 50. I'm also gonna increase the spectrum intensity a little bit. I'm gonna collapse the logo. Now click on the camera. Let's go to transform. I'm going to bring this to the start. I'm going to activate the position. I want to spin this to make it straight, to make it small. I'm going to increase this somewhere around 10,000. Yeah, this will be good. And I'm going to bring it to the second second. And I'm going to bring it down to 2,000. And I'm going to bring it to the fourth second bring it down to 1300 or something like that. I'm going to bring this here to the fourth second. Also going to select the keyframes, right click, keyframe assists, select easy ease and click on play. 
and this is how it looks. You also can modify it. Maybe I want to increase the other position. This is gonna tilt it. I also think it to increase this way and wow. It looks something like that. You only need some sound effects for this one. And this was it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.